Hey everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women, and this is my next question and answer segment where I took your questions from Facebook and I'm going to answer them for you today. The first question I have is if you only have an hour to work out, is it better to do an hour of cardio, an hour of weights, or split them up evenly? I think if I had to choose one or the other, I would choose an hour of weights because when you weight train, you can get your heart rate elevated and you can build more muscle, which then increases your metabolism and helps you burn more fat. If you have a lot of weight to lose, incorporating uh, cardio in between your sets can also be beneficial uh, for fat burning and for an overall increase in caloric burn for that training session. So either one of those would be great, but definitely incorporate the weights. How much water do you try to drink every day? I try to, I actually usually carry around a liter and a half water bottle with me and I fill it about three times. So I try to drink at least four liters of water or a gallon of water. My ideal goal would be six liters, five to six liters because I work out a couple times a day and I sweat a lot and I feel much better. My energy is better when I do drink more water. So. Best ab workout for a person who has lower back problems. I would, I would avoid anything with additional weight. So I would probably start with basic crunches. I would, I would avoid um, leg raises for a while, just because when if your core is weak, when you bring your legs down, your lower back may arch, which could cause a little bit more back problems. Um, I would do stuff on machines where you're on like a, a crunch bench and you're supported um, and just stick with that for a little while until you don't have, and when you crunch, try to really squeeze your abs and don't just go through the motions, squeeze the, your abs so that you feel the contraction and you feel the burning. Um, so go slower, really focus on form and breathing, and then um, as you build strength, then you can start incorporating additional exercises after that. But I would avoid any like super heavy twisting. I would avoid um, you know anything where your lower back is going to be arching the wrong way. And of course, anything that causes pain. My knees are killing me from squats and lunges. They are painful one to two days after. My form is correct, it's just putting too much pressure on them. I do about five to six classes a week at the gym and I've been going for a year now, but this problem just became a problem a few weeks ago. What do you recommend to help? So my knees hurt sometimes when I heavy squat and I don't warm up enough. So if I am doing a leg day, I will make sure that I do at least five minutes on the treadmill and then I'll start with leg extensions and I'll do like five sets of 20 just to increase the blood flow. And then I might go into leg press for a couple sets and then I go into a couple warm-up sets of squats, and then I start adding the weight. Go slow, make sure that you take your time, make sure that afterwards you're stretch, and if you need to ice or take an Epsom salt bath that evening, that can help um, doing cardio in the morning and you know getting it loosened up, increasing your circulation, drinking a lot of water. Uh, I would even consider taking a joint guard or a joint supplement, because it could be I mean, that could help um, if you absolutely have to take an anti-inflammatory because um, it's all inflamed. Um, that could help. So I would try some of those things. And the last question I have is, what supplements must I take if I want to get through the day after my morning workout? By lunchtime, I'm fatigued and I don't have much energy for the rest of my day. I think that it could just be that you're not eating enough food because you don't need, remember you guys, supplements are incredibly beneficial and they can help a lot with building muscle, in recovery, um, giving you strength and endurance and helping you build muscle, but you don't need them. They should not over, you know, supersede your diet. So food is the primary substance of what gives you energy, what gives you, uh, build, helps you build muscle, what helps you burn body fat. Food is the number one. So if you're not 
able to make it through your day and you're foggy in the brain and you're fatigued, it could be because you're dehydrated. It could be because you didn't eat enough after your, after your workout or before your workout and you basically burned everything you had so your energy is like super low and now you're, you're, it's telling you, look, I need fuel, I need food, aka energy, to make it through the rest of the day. So if you're working out in the morning, make sure that you're eating, you know, again, after your workout and then maybe even two or three hours after that so that you have more energy and also drink more water. So try to drink at least two liters of water before lunch and that should help. All right, guys, those are my questions for this week. Until next week, keep asking your questions on the Fitness Rx for Women Facebook page and I will be back here every Friday to answer them for you. Until then, keep living the fit life.